Welcome to Lincoln Speedway for the Hilly Rife Memorial. Tonight we pay tribute to the man that put the speedway on the map. Couple of cars together in three and four, and that'll bring out the caution flag. The ways past Dates moves into fifth. Problems in turn three, and the 1080 of Mackerson's gonna turn it over. at the start and we have two cars that have rolled over several times still awaiting confirmation at this scene that all drivers are okay Brandon Raymer flipped he ended up collecting Robbie Kendall who also rolled over Glendon Forsyth is down there in the 16 of Gerard McIntyre, the four cars involved. Fisher will be the leader off turn number two. Gladfelder and Bowling race for second. Fisher, followed by Gladfelder, Bowling and Problem in turn four. Drake up beside Will. Four cars race for the lead. Jeff Gladfelder, the winner of the bloodstone. Danny Dietrich pass Will. He's up to third. He's after Fisher for second. He gets him off turn four. Dietrich up beside Gladfelder. Gladfelder hangs on. Bob Trout moves ahead. Dietrich slides in front of Gladfelder and grabs the race lead. And Dietrich's going to get sideways and spin while leading. Forty-eight of Dietrich into the outer pit area. Run to the outside. Gladfelder holds him off down the back stretch. Three to go. Runs into the race lead. Picking up the win in tonight's Hilly Rife Memorial feature event is Alan Kahn. You touched the winner. That's what I'm talking about, brother. I think you need about three more inches to win. Yes. Yeah.
I think, you know, I thought you think Danny had it one there. He got around us uh, early on there. We were racing pretty hard, and he got in front of us. And uh, I don't think I had anything for him. And uh, I don't know if he just lost it out there or what happened. But uh, if that's what happened, you don't see that out him very good. You know, he, uh, uh, him and the 21 have uh, been far and away the, the two fastest cars. And, uh, you know, I think Brian was behind me there in that restart. I think it was him anyways, unless it was still Scott Fisher. But, uh, you know, those two guys have been real fast, and uh, we just haven't been able to keep up with them. But uh, uh, we were pretty good tonight. And, uh you know, the track was a little, got a little wider tonight, which played into our hand there a little bit. And, uh, you know, once I saw Danny spin out there and uh, collect Adam, you know, I knew we were second then. And, but uh, guy felt it was going pretty good. And I still had about three inches on my wing, and uh, I pulled that all the way back. Uh, it seems like he likes to run the bottom, and, uh, and, and him seeing me on the board, I'm figuring he's thinking I'm going to be on the bottom. So I, thinking, I was thinking he was going to go to the bottom to block me anyways. So uh, I, just, I just tried to roll around the top there and... Uh, I uh, was lucky enough to get a run on him off four here and uh, get in front of him and uh, just kind of held on from there. Lots of wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. Passing was a premium, but you guys did it. You came from the middle of the pack to get up through, and extra five laps helped, I know. But uh, this is a big win. I know kind of the monkey off your back. Yeah, it's been a long time since I won, uh, over a year. Uh, you know, we've been close a couple times and had good cars, just uh, started back so far, I think. I think we run seventh the last three races here and passed 29 cars in those three races. You know, we passed a lot of cars, passed a lot of cars in the outlaw race, but uh, just started back so far and and uh, started a little better today. We started 11th and ended up, I think, starting ninth after the first crash there. But, uh, you know, we were lucky enough to get up through there and uh, missed a couple of those crashes. And, uh, you know, we're lucky to be standing here at the end of the night.